Well, I'm a Catholic religious, which means I gave my life to God and I did it by three vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience. And I want to use that experience of being free for God from possessions, from human affections in a, in a disordinate fashion, and then even from our own pride in order to speak to the children about the challenge of Christianity. If we can get the, the students to see that Christianity is an invitation into a challenge, an invitation into something that's, that's new and different from what this world offers, I think that we're gonna present an attractive force for the church and for faith in their lives. I want them to be inspired about the potential that they have for greatness and the potential of the difference that their lives can make in the world when they give them to Christ. So I want to present them with the invitation to surrender their lives to God so as to be His instruments in an effective change for the betterment of the world. Today, um, I got asked to come out here by Ms. Perez just as we kind of kick off this new year, coming back after an awesome Christmas season, the celebration of Epiphany, and to talk a little bit more about what it means to, I guess, be a person. You know, I know that there's a lot of stuff going on, and what's so cool about the New Year's is you get this chance to start over, and especially in high school, you know, I think people spend a lot of time talking about what you can't do, what you're not ready to do, and I think that today what we're gonna talk about is what it means to be, what that word fiat means, what that call from God looks like, and how that applies to our everyday life, what it means to actually just be a person. This is really, especially high school kids, this is the age that in a couple of years they're gonna be voting, they're gonna be doing stuff, and. We kind of need to stop saying that this is the young church or the future church and realize that this is the present church. This is the present world.